What's up guys, Coda Bear TV back in another video. So today uh, we are riding local, me and my dad. Um, today as I've been riding, I've been talking about uh, how I like the new Matrix Assault 2021 146, kind of comparing it to my SKS 146 and my 19 Assault 144. Things I like, don't like, the comparison of them, the on-trail, the off-trail, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's been going good. I haven't had to change a battery today yet because I got my cord. In my pocket, I got a, um, what do they call the battery pack type thing. So it's constantly plugged in, so that's going good. But uh, we're gonna go, I know the snow today has been great. Uh, trail's been really good, but the snow for doing wheelies and stuff is great. Um, we've had this snow for about five days now. It's been really cold, the snow set up perfect. So we're just having a blast riding around. Uh, hit a couple drifts, did a couple wheelies in them, you know, just having fun. So stay tuned for the, some content with the new Matrix Assault. And also, like I said, it's gonna be like a live review. I got 750 miles on it now, so I know really well how the sled's gonna react and how it is. So stay tuned for some clips different today. All right, we're leaving from my parents' house. Local ride, have some fun. Probably gonna put a couple, like 100, 150 miles on. Got new, uh, I got new, um, seven and a half inch shapers and they they grip good look at that no more sliding on the road it just turns instantly Woo! like it now we got to get up to the trail and rip do a little ride find some drifts and just have a fun time Almost went over backwards there. That was a little ridiculous. Well, this is all new. I don't remember ever seeing this. Wow, this thing is an animal right now. I don't know why, but it's just going crazy. Get up here, do a little wheelie. Oh yeah! I love the local trails out here. You know, just being able to come out and ride locally with your dad instead of always having to go to Tug Hill and everything so much better I know the people I know the property you know, I know the places to do wheelies like this it's just a blast so much more fun riding like this because you're not on like full groomed trails all the time like you know you can do that play all right so the matrix polaris matrix 2021 assault 850 uh with the 146 kind of comparing it to like my sks and then i had a 19 uh, 20 i had a 20 SKS 146 and then uh, the year before that I had a 19 Assault 144 as you guys know so so far with this sled in comparison to my SKS uh, the track is a similar track I put on this one I have a 2 inch the other one was a 2.25 um, the way that it handles on trail it's obviously way better. It's not as tippy um, as the SKS was. Um, but like off trail, the SKS is way more nimble and able to throw the skis around and everything way better. So with the SKS, 
you kind of expect that. The SKS 146 is more like a 70-30, whereas the Assault's more, you know, the middle ground 50-50. Um, I just really wish that they would put the adjustable front end on the Assault. I think that would make it even more of a 50-50 because you could change it from 42.5 to 40.5, uh, whereas the SKS is... 41 and a half to 39 and a half so um i wish they did that with the assault i think it would put them in even a better category than what they are now uh which is the best 50 50 crossover on the market right now um i think it would just help a lot now the sks is just super playful like you could throw it left and right really easy the thing stands up like nothing like the assault will stand up don't get me wrong Woo! the assault will stand up don't get me wrong but the the way that the sks would just stand up is literally insane um now going to like the assault 144 i had i had a 1.6 inch track it was a fun sled for sure but it didn't bridge the bumps as good as the 146 because the new Walker Evan Velocity 2.0 shocks are just really good on the sled. Like you really just don't feel that much. Like it bridges the bumps way better than the uh, Walker Evans on the 19 Assault they had. So, but overall, I'm super impressed with this. Um, the sled itself is phenomenal. I'm gonna get over here and do a wheelie. But the sled itself is phenomenal, but <laughs> Woo! um just like the way it handles on the trails, like it pushes a little bit with the four-inch carbies, but like not bad. Like you can still rail the corners really hard. Um, and not have to worry about it. I put these brand new seven and a half inch shapers on right now, and this thing is just biting so hard that it's starting to lift the ski a lot more than I would like. But it's not impossible to control. You just gotta really le lean your weight. But overall, between the 19 Assault 144 and the SKS, the 2020 146. The Assault on trail outperforms it, and the off trail, um, like it's there with it in the SKS category. I think it would be better if they had the uh, adjustable spindle like the SKS does. I think that would set it apart. Like I think that would make it like better on and off trail than the SKS. So. If they get that figured out, it, it's going to be great. It's going to be a whole new ball game. For sure. The uh, Assault, the 19 Assault that I had, um, it, like, it didn't, it, it didn't get on edge as easy as this one. This one gets on edge easier than my 19 Assault 144, I feel like. And it wants to stay there easier than the other one. Um, the SKS really got an edge really easy and held its line. So it's really what it comes down to is preference of like how you're gonna ride. If you're gonna ride more trail than like than off trail, then you're gonna want to ride the um, you're gonna want the Matrix Assault 146. It's just way more capable of doing both so i'll tell you what with these seven and a half inch shafers on this it is digging so hard it's really getting up on one ski way more than it normally does way more all right we're gonna make this sled go over backwards almost right here Woo! 
that was insane i told you we're gonna make that thing almost go over backwards and we sure shit almost did god that's such a good feeling i love it that is why i get out and ride just the power the wheelies like it's so good might get some air right here Got a little bit of air there, a little hang time. All right, let's see. Usually this is drifted out pretty good. We'll see how it looks. I'll do a wheelie right here. Woo! Is that why they call me the wheelie machine? God, it's so much fun. I can't wait. Uh, possibly this week, um, they're talking about having a big snowstorm come through, which would be awesome. Uh, they keep changing it. Some are saying 12 to 18 inches. Some are saying 8 to 12. Some are even saying that there's a possibility of us getting like 24 inches, boys. That would be awesome. If we got 24 inches down here, I'd be ripping all my trails that I know. I know a bunch of places where there's some drifts down here. Like, a lot of like really great places to ride. You guys are gonna love it if we get it. I can't wait. I'm gonna make some killer videos with it. So, another thing that's really good, uh, and it feels great, is between, from, the 19 Assault 850 to this one, the gas tank is a lot narrower, so you can really slide in the corner like that, really easy. Like, your weight just slides forward so easy. It's, I think, seven inches narrower, or six inches narrower than the uh, 20 Assault and the 19 Assault. So, like, this matrix is really good. Like, you can see, how narrow that tank is. And it's still got 11 and a half gallon tank, so you still fit a good amount of fuel in it. And it'll get your 100 miles, 120 miles out of it. Before you gotta fill up again. Oil consumption, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's about the same, I would say, as the 1950 Assault. Um, maybe a little bit better i feel like i did go through like an extra jug in like the amount of miles that i went with this like i would say like a half a jug more maybe so like it's a little better definitely but the motor feels better i haven't had any hiccups i got 744 miles on it now by the end of today i'll have like eight nine hundred There's a deer. Run, buddy, run! See him? There they go. Bye, friends. Have a nice day. best one on the assault it's Sunday traffic starting to get pretty heavy
Oh, here's a drift. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah, man. Wheeling and through drifts like it's nothing, baby. Yeah, Polaris. My baby. Polaris Assault. Now let's see which way to go. West Winfield. His dad got some air, you probably couldn't see it. Well, there's a lot of people down here. That's crazy. People here go this way towards one stream field. This railroad bed gets all sorts of beat up usually. I mean, the amount of sleds just went through there. I mean, there's a lot of stutter bumps through here, but. Nothing the assault can't handle. Boom, boom, boom. Just stand up and you don't even feel it with the assault. Bridges all of them. No problem. I love it. My old hearted cat, I felt every bump. The assault, the other assault did well, but it didn't do as good as this. Ah, this thing just trenches right through it all.